we all know about New Year's resolutions. And that seems like obviously a time when people are more open to change. They're more motivated to pursue their goals. There's the social norm, but it seems like there's something else going on too. Like you have this sense when you close one year and open another of a, a new beginning, a transition, a clean slate, a dissociation from all the things that you messed up in the past. That was the old me and this is the new me. And you're also sort of more likely to step back and think big picture at those moments. And my hunch was, there are a broader set of dates that may have that same feature. And uh, that it may be that there are other moments in our lives that feel like new beginnings and give us a similar motivation. So we started analyzing data and, and reading up on, on the literature on autobiographical memory and how people think of, about time and, and um, the passage of time and temporal landmarks, which are the moments that we use to mark time in our lives. And what we found is that there do seem to be a series of dates that feel like new beginnings, that feel like fresh starts, days like the beginning of a new week or start of a new month, uh, the celebration of a, a birthday or a holiday that feels like a, a fresh start to you, like think more Labor Day than, uh, <laughs> than Valentine's Day, more the first day of spring than you know, the first day of a semester when we talk about the first about day of a semester, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yes, all these dates we see people naturally actually are, are pursuing their goals at a higher velocity on those dates. So they go to the gym more frequently around those dates. They search for the term diet on Google more. They set goals more. And we've also found that we can nudge them towards action when we invite change on those dates. Now, you know, we found that you can't like whip up a fresh start out of thin air and we have tried. So you know, we tried things like, hey, it's the 100th day of the year, it's a fresh start, make a new beginning and people just <laughs> ignore us. But there are dates that we can call to people's attention like the first day of spring is one we've we found to be very effective. Birthdays, uh, highlighting them as an opportunity for a new beginning. We found people when given an opportunity to choose when they'll get reminders to start pursuing their goals are more like to do, likely to do that when we call out a fresh start date like the first day of spring mm -hmm. um, and label it as such as opposed to just calling it the third Thursday in March or uh, when we invite them to start saving for a retirement and put you know start setting money aside in the 401k and we invite them to do that starting on the first day of spring or starting after our next birthday they're more likely to do it than at an equal time delay that just isn't labeled as such. And so I think that's really exciting and, and suggests that there's a lot of potential ways we can use these fresh starts to kickstart change in our lives. So, so this is exactly the proverbial striking when the iron is hot kind of an idea, right? I, it, what I'm hearing you say is that people's motivation waxes and wanes over time. And essentially you could take a nudge and intervention education uh, campaign anything, but if you deliver that when it is at its ebb, then you're essentially losing the ability uh, to engineer change, and it's really searching for the points where motivation crests automatically as a function of time. Is that is that a fair way of putting that? Absolutely. I think, and this is really, when you, we think about the obstacle framework, there's this obstacle of the ebb and flow of motivation that mm. you're not always ready to get started. And so to try to actually kickstart change, trying to use these moments when we have that crest is exactly the idea.